Hello, Haraman sir. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Thank so you. I would like to you? welcome you to MY Farms YouTube channel and to our new show that is basically Let's Do It Haraman's Way. So I hope you will love to be part of it and we will keep educating the people all around the world. It's a very great honor for me. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, uh, the first question from my side is that kindly give your brief description so people may know, know about you that uh, who are you and from where you are. Mm. My name is Herman Bruni. Uh, I come from Germany. I'm 62 years old. And I'm also a judge for parrots and parakeets. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, sir, how do you think, how do you define, a, how Harriman's define a cockatiel? Oh, uh, in my study during learning Dutch, I must study much about cockatiels. I must know everything. Sir, how do you define cockatiel? What cockatiel means to you? What is the definition of oh. cockatiel? It's a little cockatoo. <laughs> It's a cock, a little cockatoo, cockatoo with their tail. You can say cockatoo yes, with a tail. Yes. 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 Uh, sir, uh, how how which how many mutations of cockatiels are there in around the world? Oh, no. Let me think. I think more than fifty. More than fifty. But sir, we do yes. not have knowledge of uh, those mutations. I, we have only knowledge of you can say ten to fifteen mutations. Uh, yes, not only mutations, it's just basic mutations, maybe 10, but the combination. You are saying that subclasses, if you include the sub segments or subclasses, it will go to uh, 50 mutations. Yes, I yes. think so. Uh, sir, which cockatiel breed you are breeding at your own home? Uh, I have uh, gray. Uh, okay. Also, Upperland, Upperlin and Lutino. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, basically, I would like to define upline to Pakistani viewers because Pakistani use common pearl for upline birds and they do not know that pearl are also called upline birds. So, I would like to yes. give them a description that uplines are basically pearl. Uh, sir, can you define mm -hmm. why uplines are called pearl or why pearls are called upline? Uh, Upperline is the international name and Pearl is the German name. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, you are breeding uh, show class birds? No, 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 no. Only for hobby. But I know many breeders in Germany, very good cockatiel breeders, and yes, I visit sir. them have them all, uh, often. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, uh, can you explain that w at what age it is perfect to breed cockatiels? You must know about the herod heredity. This is basic knowledge. Okay, no less. You, mu you must know. If you don't know about heredity, you can't breed. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, what do you think is the perfect age for breeding a cockatiel? Uh, over one year. Over one must year. Must be over one year. Oh. Okay, sir. Uh, there are some articles that say, uh, that say that we should breed cockatiels at least 18 months or two years. What do you have to say about it? Uh, I'd say they must be minimum one year, better more, better one and a half year. Okay, sir. So that's very good thing to know. Actually, people here in Pakistan are breeding cockatiels at the age of, you can say, six months even. And they do not oh understand... Uh, that what effects they can have. So kindly, can you explain that what effects if we are uh, breeding immature birds? Yeah. Yes, yes. I will, I will try. Uh, These young birds are not good parents. Well, they will not feed the, uh, the children and not uh, take care about them. The, okay, sir. It's, it's needing that cockatiel uh, is one and a half year to, to start breeding. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, basically, I would like to explain it. Uh, I have uh, learned from different articles or senior fanciers. They said that they are not good parents. Uh, there can be issue in uh, future siblings. 
there can be downsizing of the bird there can be bad feather yes. condition there can be a lot of genetic issues if we breed birds at early ages oh okay i think so i think you're right thank you sir uh, sir what do you think what type of food should we offer to cockatiels um you remember i uh, last year i visit pakistan to judge a show in lahore okay, and i sir. visit many breeders the most problem about pakistan uh, cockatiel is the height they are too mean okay sir uh sir do you think uh, giving medicine without bird uh, being in disease is a good thing or a bad thing not not needing not needing if you give good food also vegetables and fruits it's in us thank you sir so basically in pakistan people do believe and many people do say that giving medicines or vitamins or supplements to no. bird is a good thing no, and no, we no. should keep on giving on continuous basis even many people are doing it on weekly basis or twice a week how do you think it can affect the overall bird performance or overall bird's health health uh um... the the high of infection is more when you give also medicine i breed birds since 50 years and okay, i sir. never give medicine so never. basically basically i am also do, uh, trying to do it i am not giving my birds any kind of medicine any kind of antibiotic probiotic vitamins or supplements i am trying to breed my birds uh, in natural food good seed mix good soft food mix and cuttlefish bone rock salt and i am giving only yes. medicating the birds when they are ill but people here believe that we should keep on giving medicine to the bird and that's a very disastrous thing yes it's a wrong idea don't give medicine if uh, birds are not ill okay sir uh, sir one more thing uh, there is a medicine from uh, basically germany from miavet company that is malik maybe i don't know uh, sir i would like to explain it to you uh, people contacted yes. me uh, that they want uh, this product to be promoted but when i contacted the main company that was making the medicine the company responded mm -hmm. that this is not our standardized product and we haven't any kind of test on any animal or any bird but people here in pakistan are saying that it's a very fantastic medicine and we are having so beautiful result how would you say to uh, people of pakistan for stop using this medicine how bad effects can this medicine have on birds health it's not needing if you have uh, uh, birds they are when they are good they don't need medical so kindly explain if we are using an untested medicine which haven't gone through trials how kind of uh, how, what kind of disastrous effect it can have on bird uh, they will but will get more infection okay, and sir. they will die okay sir uh, sir what temperature do you think is best for breeding cockatiels sorry repeat what temperature do you think is best for breeding cockatiels you mean temperature yes sir temperature oh i know in pakistan it's very warm at this time yes sir um, at, at this time in germany we have uh, let me look 28 grade su and uh, it's optimal optimal okay, for cock for cockatiels uh, sir basically in pakistan at the moment we are having 40 plus especially in uh you can say punjab region yes and it's very high but still people few people say that cocktail basically is a bird of warm weather and we should uh, breed them in even this situation no 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 better when temperature is maybe 25 maybe 28 it's enough okay sir uh sir how Not would you in hot uh, summer okay sir uh sir how would you define Uh, the overall experience of your life of breeding birds oh i am learning by my father and okay, also sir. i have many many good teachers here in germany i have many much friends who breed bird and we talk about this and this and this we discuss many things and so i will learn 
okay sir so basically uh, our task was to have such kind of video sessions to make people learn inshallah we will have few more sessions uh, this is the first session we are having and we will keep yes. on doing more sessions so uh, what would message would you like to give to fanciers so they can have better understanding that what these sessions are meant for yes we can do no problem about me i will teach you okay sir uh, sir uh, thank you very much for being part of this session uh, and uh, i am happy that you are one of those person who are willing to give their valuable time not only for specific people but for everyone to learn and that is very amazing thing thank you very much uh, we will inshallah do our next session soon uh